Number 15. Peter Kajinowski He killed three people, including Harry Kinn, 924, Julia Mlodzinowski, and Joseph Starella. He knocked him down and hit him several times. He slashed his throat and covered the body with a boy's overcoat and left him. Kajinowski was a suspect in the murder of Billy Gaffney, who was killed in 1927 and Irving Pekinley, who disappeared from Brooklyn in February 1927. He was finally captured in Detroit, Michigan, and he confessed. He was then brought to Jersey City for trial. He was found guilty of first-degree murder on November 17, 1928. On September 21, 1921, he was executed by electrocution. 14. Gordon Stewart Northcutt He was a Canadian child abductor and murderer, known for killing three children in Owenville. He abducted and tortured an indeterminate number of boys and molested them. Typically, after molesting them, he would drive the victims home and let them go. Four of them, however, he murdered at the ranch. He also murdered the two Winslow boys using an axe and a Hispanic teen, Alvin Gothia, who was his first victim. He also abducted and molested Walter Collins. During the time, his mother visited him unexpectedly. Because of that, Gordon kept the boy in a chicken coop. Her mother noticed something wrong and so the boy. His mother recognized the boy because she had worked at the supermarket where Walter had shopped for his mother, Christine Collins. Because Walter could identify them, she told her son that the boy knew too much and he would have to be silenced permanently. He was then executed by hanging on October 2, 1930. 13. Norman Simons Also known as the Station Strangler He is a South African rapist and serial killer who was convicted in 1995 of the rape and murder of a 10-year-old Eleanor Van Roo. He was sentenced to 35 years in prison. It's estimated that he had murdered 25 people in 10 cases for kidnapping. Before killing the victim, he would rape them and sodomize them before strangling them. Victims were found face down with their hands tied behind their backs in a shallow sandy grave. The victim's underwear were found around their necks. Simon's relationship with his older stepbrother seemed to have a major bearing in his criminal activities. His older stepbrother raped him and sodomized him when he was young. He also reported hearing voices from his brother instructed him to kill despite his brother having been murdered in 1991. Number 12. Harvey Robinson He have killed three people aged 29, 15 and 47. He raped and brutalized the fourth victim, and luckily, she escaped. The fifth was a five-year-old girl. He raped her and choked her. Number 11. Peter Woodcock He was a Canadian serial killer, child rapist, and died in a psychopath. He would often wander from his home by foot, bicycle, or train to parts of Toronto, where he could molest dozens of children, and ultimately murdered three. He was found not guilty by reason of insanity. He was then sent to a psychiatric facility and killed a fellow psychiatric patient. He fell in love with a patient, but his love was rejected. He then killed a the patient, stabbing her to death in 1991. Number 10. Erin Michelle Cathy She slaughtered her and her family and burned the house to the ground. On the 1st of March 2008, in a pre-dawn attack, Erin worked with her 19-year-old boyfriend, Charlie Wilkinson, and his two friends, Wade, 20, and Johnson, 18. The group shot everyone in the house, including Erin's two younger brothers, ages 13 and 8, then proceeded to set the house ablaze and attempt to hide the evidence. However, Erin's father managed to escape. 9. Cayetano Sanos Bedino, also known as the Big-Eared Midget. He was an Argentinian serial killer. 
There were four recorded murder, two assaulted victims, and five attempted murder. On 8 of November 1912, he tried to choke an eight-year-old boy. He was then arrested and charged for attempted murder, but was released until the trial. On November 16, 1912, he assaulted a three-year-old girl who suffered minor wounds before police officer Nervin and continued run off. He died on November 15, 1944. Number 8. Craig Price An American serial killer who committed his crimes in Warwick, Rhode Island between the ages of 13 and 15. He was arrested in 1989 for four murders committed in his neighborhood, a woman and her two daughters that year, the murder of another woman two years earlier. Price broke into a home that was only two houses away from his own, whereupon he took a knife from the kitchen and stabbed 27-year-old Rebecca Spencer 58 times. At the time, the brutality of his murder was mostly unknown due to his sale records. Number 7. Harold Jones Jones was a child murderer. He was acquitted of the murder by his first victim, 8-year-old kid, on 21st of June 1921. Just 17 days later, he murdered an 11-year-old neighbor named Florence Little. Number 6. William James Boskett Jr. He was considered as one of the most dangerous inmates in New York City. On Sunday, March 19, 1978, he killed Noel Barris by shouting during an attempted robbery. Eight days later, he shot another man, Moises Paris, in another attempted robbery. Number 5. George Stine Jr. An African-American child. He married two white girls ages 7 and 11. He was the youngest American to be sentenced to death and executed. A re-examination of the Stine case began in 2004 when several individuals in Northeastern University School of Law sought a judicial review. His conviction was overturned in 2014, 70 years after he was executed when a court ruled that he had not received a fair trial. Number 4. Jesse Pomeroy He was given a lot of names. The Boston Boy Finn, the Boy Torturer, the Demon, and the Red Devil. He was the youngest person in the history of the Commonwealth of Massachusetts to be convicted of murder in the first degree. Number 3. Graham Young he was an English serial killer who used poison to kill his victims. He had a fascination for chemistry and tested had poison on his family. He was sent to Broadmoor Hospital in 1962 after poisoning several numbers of his family, killing his stepmother. After his release in 1971, he went on to poison 70 more people, two of whom died. He was known as a teacup poisoner. Number 2. Mary Flora Bell she is an English woman who strangled two young boys. On 25th of May 1968, the day before her 11th birthday, she strangled four-year-old Martin Brown. She is believed to have committed this crime alone. Between then and a second killing, she and a friend, Norma Joyce Bell, aged 13, broke into and vandalized a nursery in Scottswood, leaving notes that frame responsibility for the killing. The police dismissed the incident as a prank. On 31st of July, 1968, the two girls took part in the strangulation death of a three-year-old boy. Police concluded that Mary Bell later returned to his body to cover them into the boy's abdomen and used scissors to cut off some of his hair, scratch his legs, and mutilate his genitals. Number 1. Amar Dipsada or Amar Jitsada. He was the world's youngest serial killer at only 8 years old. Sada started killing approximately one year before he was finally turned over to authorities, meaning he was actually only 7 when the murders began. During a one year period, he killed at least 3 times. All his victims were babies from the local village, with the oldest being his 8 month old sister. His parents covered up his first two murders, but this clearly didn't work. When local villagers began asking questions, he was reportedly more than happy to admit the murders.
He showed the exact location of his last crime and mentioned killing the baby with a stone then buried the body. When he was asked by the police about his crimes, he simply smiled and asked for biscuits. He was then arrested on May 30th, 2007. Thank you so much for watching, and if you like this video, please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button.